Hello everyone and welcome back to EU4 playing with the Total Conversion mod Anbenar. So, for those of you who don't know, Anbenar is a, well, Total Conversion mod that sets the game in a Dungeons and Dragons-esque period, or, well, world, realm, where you can play as, well, humans, elves, orcs, goblins, uh, goblins, uh, half-elves, gnolls, uh, ogres, centaurs and such. Um, it's a really well thought out and really well done mod. I played it before on the channel some time ago, but I thought we could probably give it another go before um, the next update comes out uh, for both Anbenar, I hope, and um, EU4 with the Origins uh, update that will release the 11th of November, I believe. So let's see if we can not crank out a short, well, I don't know, maybe short, I don't know, campaign here with Anbenar. So we have well, I have decided to play as uh, Koburia, as you probably guessed from the title and thumbnail. Koburia is a, well, kingdom on the eastern borders of, well, the Empire of Anbenar, or the defunct one. It's still there, like the Holy Roman Empire. Um, over here we have like a dead realm. Uh, I think it was called Castellier or something, which was overtaken by Greenskin. So this is like... Sort of empty, but there's still like green skin tribes and expeditions from other kingdoms, like human kingdoms and maybe elven and dwarven kingdoms, sent in to recolonize this area here. Now, the nation of Kovoria, 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 is uh, is ruled by vampires, mostly in secrets from mostly in secret, as far as I can tell. But I just skimmed through the mission tree, which is very long and <laughs> very detailed. It seems that the vampires can take over the, the land and, uh, well, bring down the world of men, or whatever you want to say. But right now, the vampires are sort of behind the scenes. You can see we have an estate called Vampires here, and they have a decent amount of influence and loyalty. So we want to work with the vampires and basically let them take over in the end. Uh, So, well, we can... Well, yeah, that's the goal, <laughs> I guess. Pardon me. So, it's been some time since I played last time, but uh, let's see what we can do. So, Kavoria here, we have our... Let's see, our starting traditions are... Attrition for enemies, plus one, and aggressive, aggressive expansion impact, minus 10%, which is decent, both of them. Let's see, the first one is Servile Peasantry. I'll read the flavor text once we actually get the ideas. As usual. So, Servile Peasantry, uh, National Manpower Modifier plus 10%, and Monthly Autonomy Change plus 0 0.05. So, that's basically two ideas in one, which is pretty good. The Black Knights of Kovoria. Kovoria? Cavalry Compatibility plus 10%, and base, uh, just Base Discipline plus 2.5%. So, this is also pretty good. We have I Am the Land. Not I Am the State, but I Am the Land. Stability cost modified down by 20%, and yearly absolutism up by 0 0.5. So that's also pretty damn good. That's also two ideas in one. Holders of the Sapphire Key, we have Fort Defense plus 20%, which is decent because it's so high. Strengthen the Khan Ward River. Caravan Power plus 20%, eh, it's okay. Nothing amazing. The Masquerade plus one Prestige, which is decent. And we have Legacy of the Warrior Kings plus one Leader Land Fire, which is pretty good because fire also, well, becomes better the longer we play, like in normal EU4. And then we have our ambition is Morale of Armies plus 10%, so that's also pretty damn good. Right, so I have no idea how to play these fellas here. We have the Empire on our left side, so if we attack one of these fellas, uh, the, em the Emperor will come to their aid, which is what? Vex is the Emperor right now. Yeah. Vex. Hmm. Mm, right, so let's see here. We have some rivals. We have what? Ashinane. Ah, okay. Hmm. So they hold some land over here, but the capital is over here, I see. Ashnyande. I don't know. Sure. Then we have Aranen down there. Fine, we'll put it back there. How much money are we making? Mm, I don't know. A bit. Let's do this and this. Uh, go here. Where's our capital? Oh, it's down here. Arca Corvo. Okay. Oh, we have a... Oh. We have a monument. A fort. Baldostan. 
I guess. It looks like a fort. Province, yeah, defensiveness, prestige, absolutism, loyalty for nobility and vampires, defensiveness, prestige, absolutism, and here own province in the area. Some defensiveness, defense, the, the defensiveness, the defensiveness is not that high, but we get prestige and absolutism, which is really nice. So sure, we want to boost that. Half elven minority, right? What's our culture like? Kavori Kavurian, Kavurian. We have human administration. Right, this is a heir is a powerful mage. Oh, nice. Human military. Okay, so we humans. All right. Um, ideas change. Can we have like vampire military? No. Okay. Oh well. Turn that off. Pop control. Right, we can do stuff with the other... I, I remember, I forgot about this actually. But there's different options of doing with like minorities and stuff in this game. Go back and turn that off. Rebuild dull... Oh, okay. 150. It says the ancient Cast Castanorian citadel of Bal Dostan was once the center of the old kingdom of Dostanor. Dostanor. And more recently, the capital of the Kingdom of Kovuria, under the name Arca Corvo. It valiantly held off the Green Tide and spared the lands behind it from the same fate as the rest of the Eskan, but was ruined in the process. The time to restore these walls has come, so it may protect the surrounding lands once again. Right, so that was what sort we of talked about earlier, about this stuff over here. Unite Dostanor. Okay, I'm not sure we want to do that. We want to... Vampire. We want to become vampires. Uh, we'll figure it out if we get to it. So we have a regent court, which is like the Catholic mm, faith, I think. Uh, they will become like other faith popping up later. Um, so we have... It gives tolerance of heretics and heathens plus one and plus two. Alright. Canorian Pantheon. So we can choose someone to worship for now. Wow, that's a lot of them. Privateer. Nirat. Fala. Movement speed, that's pretty nice. I'm not sure what I want to do here to begin with. Hmm. Construction, fort defense. A lot of good ones. Trade and taxes. Settlers. Do we have a settler? No. Yeah, legitimacy. Admin plus one. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, the head of the region court, Castellus, is the eldest of the... Eldest? The oldest? Of the original three siblings of the Pantheon. The other beings... Ishtralania and Akrados. And is the god of rule and order. Once a great warrior, his defeat against the first dragon, Maliath, led to Castellus' arm, left arm and leg to be bitten off. Now Castellus rules from his throne as a just and rightful king, allowing his subjects, the other gods, to do good in his stead. I... Oh, idea cost down. Well, we don't have any ideas right now. Okay. I think I'll just take this for now. There's also magic in this game. Uh, where you can fire off spells and such. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see. I can't... Oh, I can't please the vampires. Oh. Increase autonomy in Shroud Fort. Oh. Hmm. Silkovor. Uh. Okay, Shroud Fort. Where is that? So, I have no idea. Shroud. Hmm. Over here. Is it a good province? Well, it's pretty good. Autonomy. Well, fine. It will give what? Adventurous, more loyalty. S uh, okay. I guess that works. We have an unassigned merchant. Let's see. We're collecting. Things are going from here to here, but... Uh, I guess we can collect, like, in these two instead. Okay, 
try to go there to begin with. Uh, we have hardly any coin. It worked. All right, so let's see. So a lot of these provinces are empty because of the green tide. Uh, that's the orcs pouring in from a massive mountain range over here. They destroyed most of this stuff here. And as I just read with this fort, uh, this land was spared because of this ruined fort now. We have a nice border up here block blockading us. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Federation. I think this is our adventure band. There's like one promise minus that starts out around here who has set out to reconquer this area and they can, I guess, form federations. Ibeva. Uh, who is that? That's you. I suppose so. Get an alliance rolling. Combine. I do have a lot of cavalry. Maybe a bit too many, to be honest. Whoops. Pause. What? Uh, the rituals and forms associated with the Panthonic Council laid down in the centuries since worship of the Reading Court was first codified. There must be a gathering of every deity high priest, deity's high priest. There must be at least seven days of discussion and further seven days of debate. The required rites of thanksgiving, of divination, and wor of wor worship. The Tenth Panthonic Council does not follow these rules. It is a conclave of adventure clerics, a smattering from each deity led by the Dominic of the Gallowspeak, lately of Nerat, now sworn to Corin. It is less a discussion than a proclamation. Corin was not slain in truth, but instead redeemed Akrados' failures and ascended to take that fallen god's place in the court. Or perhaps it less a proclamation than a wildfire, spreading quick among the Escani adventurers, allowing them to allowing them back to their homes across Kenor, and they are spreading like a spark in dry kindling. Finally, it seems the temples themselves have issued statements acceding ascetic, ascetic, to, to this truth, even as they quibble about Akrodos' heresy and her status as avatar. Their slowness is an indic indictment, indictment when compared to her fierce and unrelenting strength. It is clear that the goddess of war, bravery, and heroism is a much-needed addition to the court. Eh, okay. We can also convert. The uh, right. So, I think Corin was a human, female human who slayed uh, an orc leader over here with the green side. I could be wrong. Uh, I know a bit about this mod. I played it some time ago, but. I sort of forgot half of it. Though it's very good. I do hi I highly recommend it that you try. If you like Dungeons and Dragons scene. Oh. Right, missions. Prepare resettlement. Oh, sure. Ooh. The region known as Daravan's Folly was once the economic center of the old Corporate Kingdom until it was ruined by one of our own ancient kings, Daravan the Mal Malignant, who flooded the lands with terrible magic to prevent the Nolish Third Sax, maybe a Nolish Crusade. In his attempt to save the land, he instead doomed our forefathers to live in the poorer north where we still live to this day. If the adventurers and Iskani to the north can fight to reclaim their homeland against the Green Tide, then surely we can do the same? Question mark. So we lose admin yeah, and 10k manpower. Oof. But I get for 50 years, plus one colonist settler chance, global settler increase, and we get permanent claim on North Dreadmire and Central Dreadmire. Yes? I'll take it. I think I want to take fast up growth. Bloop. Do that. Uh, so we get claims on that stuff there. North, Central. Okay, so this was not the Orcs that was Daravan, the malignant, who flooded it to protect against a Nolish invasion. And Nols are some... Well, I think this is Nols, actually. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Sand Fang, sand fang Nols. Yeah, they're pretty horrible. Um, right. I guess we could take this to block them off, really. A Nolish... Oh. Oh -ho. They are mad as heck. Go. Immediately. Gistan. 
Who is Gisden? I can't really tell, but I can click here. Do this. And it's sort of small. They do it. Oh, well, they are with Ibevar, sure, why not? Fenfort. Well, then I actually want to change diet. I don't think I can change deity. No. Oh. <laughs> they popped immediately. A royal marriage with these fellas? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, Fenford. Wasn't it called something else before? I guess it changed names because we colonized it. Yeah, we certainly want to... So we have this... Right, there's so many things. It's, it's a really well, well put together mod. They changed like everything. So we have this Age of Green Tide. Uh, I don't think we can... Green Tide... No, we can't get that one. Is part of EOE Empire of Ambera? Nope. Nope. Okay, so we can just get this stuff over here. Right. Not our age to shine. We have a fort here and here, as far as I can tell. Two forts. Ruler of the Eastern Sands. Uh, is that correct? Uh, no, I can check here. Right. Fort maintenance. Yeah. Hmm. Not a lot of music. Why not? I can't hear it. Did that? Oh, I just turned it down too much. Right, so I guess we will wait for this a bit. I do want to kill the gnolls. They did kill, like, everyone. <laughs> so we had some... over. Ah, oh, right over here. Half-elven minority. Coexisting. Ruined Castanorian citadel. Right. So I think that this fort was actually meant to protect from people coming from this angle, because I think the old Cano Empire, Castilla Empire thing was, it was in here. So it must have been like a western border thing, I guess. Maybe. Alright. Hmm. 85. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. Smugglers running. Ugh. Oof. I guess we can uh, do threatening allies. This for now. Uh, who? What? Oh, down here. Aranese. Is that humans? Yes, I think it is. Uh, we are two. Hmm. Uh, okay. You're sort of small, but. I do like allies. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, what's this? Hmm. One province minor. Didn't even know. Shadow Council. Ooh. Oh, right, I didn't even look at our thing here. Well, just a normal. Uh, what? Oh, right. So I, 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 I briefly skimmed this mi these missions, there's like a lot of them. But I know one of them we can get like a Midnight Court. Midnight Monarchy, that sounds pretty cool. No longer be able to... Yeah, because then we can't form Dostanar, so we don't want to form Dostanar. We want to like let the em uh, Empire, let the Vampires take over. Bloody Aristocracy. Can we do more with them? Offer New Havens? Yeah, okay. Fill their stock. Well, we don't maybe need to do this yet. <laughs> Midnight Command. Oh. Hmm, pretty good. Seize offer. <laughs> Merchants, vampires. Let's see. Can we do any missions here? Report from. Oh, I think. I think this, this is Raven Banner. Who can. Raven need to form Raven March, yeah. I suppose it's these fellas. I could be wrong. Shouldn't you like wander off to the east? Hmm. Weird. I guess we want to try and go for this stuff here because I think that leads to a new mission once we have all that stuff. Yeah. Only oh, to repair. We need 150 bucks to repair it. 
Imperial Diplomacy is part... Oh, we don't want that. To be, uh, beep. I need to beep here soon. I need to cut here soon. Is part... Oh, any ally. Oh, wait, what? Total, at least, currently... Is not Ashianda. Okay. Elite half Elven Gala. Uh, fine, I guess. Do I want to do this? Hmm. Weaken the Empire. Is not Ashianda. Is that like uh, Ashianda? Erenese Ashianda. Hmm. Not really sure. This is culture. Yeah. Flame mark, no. Ugh. Cra oh, that's two different ones. Okay. Are they part of the same thing? Oh, okay. Okay, they are. Hmm. So I guess I can only change this when I die. Yeah. Oh, it does not allow. Oh. Come on. Alkaz of Sorek. So we want these two here back from... Oh, that's Ashianda. Right. What was that? Was it was... Is not... Hmm... I'm not allied to Ashianda. That's odd. I don't get this one. Slander. Oh! Oh, I thought it was just a standard one. It's not. We need what here? Manpower at least 75, total... Okay. I don't get this one. Any ally, yeah, is part of the EOA. Yeah, we have this these three fellas here, all part. They have enough development, and they are not Ashianda. At least. Oh, wait, oh, you're not part of it. <laughs> but any ally, so it must be one ally with at least 15 development. How much do you have? Uh, no, that's that's not that capital. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so I just thought these was in the Empire. I guess they're not. All right. Someone in the Empire with 50. What about Vern? Surely you must have 50. Yeah, okay. What do you want? No. Vern. All right. Okay, I see. Or Alberan up here. They look rather large. Uh, that one's okay. What are you doing? Improve relations with neighbors. Uh, target allies, target threats. Okay, come home. Try and hit up here. I don't know. Right. How much coin are we making? Oh, hardly anything. Because we have everything running at full capacity. Could kill them, but I think they will in sort of integrate, right? Well, do we want nose to integrate? I think they'll get more goods produced, right? Once it's done. G uh, not converting. Colonizing. So this land... So how... I land here in terms of like the geography. Okay, some flat, a lot of marsh, woods and hills, mountains. Okay, mountains, hills. Okay, oh, mountains here. I see. Hmm. Right. Uh, we can use all of our coins to do that. I suppose so. Flanked by mountains, flanked by mountains sits the ruins of the old 
shouldn't we only be ruin of the old fortress? Grim, in comparison to its former glory, having been rebuilt again and again after numerous invasions into the region, it will once again rise from the dead to complete the nearly impenetrable, impenetrable defense the terrain provides. Mm. No? So, what? Oh, we're rebuilding, I guess. Can I see that, like, anywhere? Hmm. Castorian Citadel, click to center. Okay. House of Riches and Sword Covenant. Yeah, I think you're my underling. Like, go explore the Renaissance. So it also has, like, a different text here. If you want to pause and read it. So it sort of follows a bit like EU4 with the Renaissance, uh, all the institutions, pretty much. Uh, blame the king? Is this cheap? Yeah, it's relatively cheap. Hmm? Technology. For innovativeness? Wait, no, yes, I want to, <laughs> because minus five, and we have uh, incoming institution spread. Sure, I'll be the first one to take it. So where did it pop the Renaissance? Is there's no Italy here. Oh, sort of close. Origin, nice. Silver Forge of oh, the Dwarves. Silver Dwarf. Eh... I do like innovativeness. Fine. Hmm. Is there anything? Oh, we could really use this one, actually. If I attack you, well, the Empire would come help. Yeah. Oh, nice. Bell to stand rebuilt. After a war of construction, we have finally restored the old citadel of Bal Dostan. It now sits proudly in its old position and will greatly bolster our defenses henceforth. Alright, so we get Castor Castanoran Citadel until the end of the game. Defensiveness plus 25, and we should complete a mission. Yes. Mm, nice. Until the end of the game. Oh, damn. <laughs> Bal Dostan was the original name for Arca Kovur and was the center of power for Castan's empire in the region. During the Dragon Wake, its stewards, stewards fled and abandoned the people, and our ancestors, the Kobarit, and our ancestors, the Kobarit occupied and secured the citadel and gave shelter to Kobarit and Castanorian alike. Thanks to our patrons, we have gained the resources necessary to repair Baldustan and restore the decrepit village that lies beneath its gaze. The village of Kovuria will once again be a humble yet bustling Community, which provides us manpower and our patrons' livestock. <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty good. Not bad. Placate. Oh, wow. Loyalty and influence. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Resettle. Ah, there's all that stuff there. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you're... I don't know. I think you're the ones who should do it, but you're just chilling there. Adventurer. Hmm. Alright, and you almost complete Fenford. That's good. All of this just, like, shitty terrain. <laughs> Glade March. Saxobkult. Demonic worship by the gnolls. Hmm. Ashiander. Uh, what is our... Like, uh, I guess we could also do this. Those of attrition here, right? Oh, wonderful. Akaz Zorek. Yes. Ugh. So, did that work? Like, uh... 
oppressed. Nathford. Okay, they do change name. Right. Can you, uh. Hey, wanna have I? No. Oh. Ah, okay. Uh, come home. Uh, be big. How about you? You have 50? 98. You do sort of like us. Sure, try that. Oh damn, you're getting wrecked here by Elven Forebear Sellets. Did anyone change to Corinth? Oh, did you do it? Oh, it's Elven... Oh, you just have another religion, I see. The Great Duke, and that's the Orcs. The Thought, that's the Gnomes. Kobolds. Yep. The Norse, I guess. The Cult, that's the Gnolls. Eh, uh, yeah, Knowles. Uh, we do need a lot more troops here. If we want to do uh, this mission, ready our forces. 2422. Two. Uh, he's decent. Hmm, uh, Imperial Diplomacy. Yeah. Oh, okay, you hate us, right. <laughs> Eastern. Fine. Alright, well, we're sorting to cut here. I've just kept playing. Gambling houses, wow. Raven Hill. Vampire Law. Oh, you're also vampires. Emporium. Hmm. Whoa. Bunch of elves used to live here. Wait, what? Knowledge mature. Okay, right. But you are gnolls, right? No. No. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Completed that. Right, losing innovativeness. Hmm. Because of this. Has it spread? No, not really. We could we could boost like our capital here to get it. We do have a minus 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 thirty. Village of Kovoria. We could of course also do uh, an edict, I guess. Hmm. Is it worth it? Maybe. I don't really know. Probably. Maybe. It will give us a small boost to income, of co as well. Well, this is permanent, so is this. Okay. Oh no. We'll do this again. Oh. <laughs> Busila's opinion is a hundred. Is that possible, I wonder? Well, it should be possible. Okay, uh, come home. So who were you trying to... Oh, here, right? No, here. Uh. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Who knew? I'm gonna have a problem once this march to the marshes ends. Well, 1490th... Okay, it won't end for a long time. So we could take this with a small minus, but we still have a, well, discount here. Uh, my gut says I should boost this instead. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. Baldustan. I guess it's pretty cheap. Uh, 
I didn't even look at my ruler. <laughs> King Devain, the second Sylvivin. Right, and our heir is a mage. I think that's why he has so much here, I think. Not sure. Uh, okay, 2-2-4. Two, two, it's pretty sh... sh yeah. Meh. Hmm. Fine. <sighs> Not sure this is the correct move, but... Oh well, oh, we are boosting him, right? Yeah. Pretty damn close. Hmm. Well, we could just just. Uh, oh. Okay, our Raven Banner people did go away. We could just wait for this to pop now, I guess. But we boosted our capital and sh gained a bit more like income, not much, but a very small amount, which I'll take. this stuff here. Oh, that's just two provinces, okay. What's this? Oh, goblins. Ugh. Ugh. Do you like me? Yes, but not enough. Oh, we can roll marry you. That should do it. And hopefully I can, I've read that mission correctly. Please work. Yes, it worked. Good. Imperial Diplomacy. The first human king of Coburia, Lucian the Protector, was no doubt a brave warrior, but also an excellent diplomat. He impressed Jahir and was the only human to be given command of one of Jahir's realms and gave our people much autonomy under Jahir's Phoenix Empire. Jahir, that's like the, the Sun Elves down here that has sort of collapsed. Sort of. Uh, the remnants are Serian and J J uh, Jadari. We did play a game of Jadari <laughs> some time ago, one of my uh, one of my let uh, let's plays. Uh, right, um, and they were like a super duper big elven uh, realm who covered I don't know something like this back in the day of this make believe land. Uh, while the Empire is long gone, another stands in its place, much closer to home, Anbanar. We must emulate Lucian in order to preserve our country. A silver tongue will lead Kavoria to greatness. Bunch of permanent claims. Yes. Distract the Emperor. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice. Someone you at war with? Hill knows. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh. Oh, I thought that gave us claims. Am I an idiot? Sestibridge, Ashfield, Livergrave. No. What? Hmm. Where is that? Can I do this and look here? Okay, liver grave. Oh, permanent claim. Oh, it, it's just broken, I guess. Uh, yeah. Huh. Rude. <sighs> Buck report. What's this magical elite? Now. M Magics are quite insane. Magicians. I don't know, I guess. You can get some pretty good uh, or pretty crazy commanders with the. Uh, if the magicians has, has their way. Magisters. I'm not sure if it. like synergizes with vampires though. Oh well, I guess we'll find out. Hmm, so I'm a bit annoyed that that mission was bugged. Didn't give us any permanent claims. Hmm. C 
Coring lands, okay. Oh no. Can you take Raven Hill? Yes, please. Second War of the Pale Raven. Hmm. Okay. Right, we do need to cut, so thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support. And a big extra thanks to my channel members, Mike Murray, Tim Reno, Wiscomet, Jeffrey Henderson, and Christoph Koll. Thanks again. Hope to see you all next time. Bye.